Welcome back to Total Chaos, the director's cut. We're continuing left off of uh, just playing the game, and I don't know, but just playing it because I don't know how fucking long it is. But hey, we're continuing from there. We killed. I... Some new monster, I don't know. We, we just kicked their ass, and we're going from there. I'm going to presume what I was doing, though, is using the knife so it breaks and I can get rid of it. Oh, hey, nice. Shortcut. I think I know where this leads in. Yeah. Alright. So, yeah, I don't know. A lot of people, I guess, I, I would imagine, have missed the series, so... It has been a while. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Am I just jumping? Imagine I need to get over there, but... Or we need to lift that bridge, I guess. Is there a button I missed? Oh, wait. Did I grab a key, maybe? I had to probably find a key. Because I remember being way up there. That's where the cord is. So we need to activate that bridge from up there. I remember being up there. I... I don't remember what I would need. If not a key or a passcode or something. I guess I'll have to make my way all the way back up there. No. Monster for two. Yeah, these monsters are easy. Just sidestep them. Not a big problem. But I think I'll have to be making my way all the way back up again, probably. I'll check out all the doors that I previously were at before, just in case things have changed and I just couldn't remember, but I'll probably skip ahead. Until I get back to where I was. Oh. Why are the monsters down there again? A little weird. They're noisy. Yeah, they're dead. Alright, I think it was up here I needed to go. Okay, and we do have the key ne needed. There we go. Okay. We have what we needed then. Now just kill everything that apparently probably will have respawned. And make my way back down. If I can remember where I'm going. A lot of noisy enemies up there. I don't even need to go up there. I don't know why they're spawning there, so... Weird. Let's go to the tower. Are we going to go deep underground? Hmm. Auto save. Nice. Yep, we're going down. Hmm. A lot of cell blocks. I have to make sure at least none of these cells have item glitters. Hmm. Weird and pointless. Guess we only have one direction we're going. Huh. I don't like this. I don't like long hallways like this. Very suspicious. Hmm. 
explosive storage. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. We're gonna be running out of. Fifteen pounds. The Emma we picked up was for what now? Submachine gun. All right. Well, harpoon gun. You can get the fuck out. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's a boss coming up soon? Who the fuck needs this? Mmm. Submachine gun. All this. What did I do to deserve this? Wait. Was that all there was here? Was this just a secret area? Like. Like previously, a person told me that there's a way to go down a ladder and visit uh, a graveyard. And there'd be something down there that'd be something story-based interesting. As well as a gun. Or probably a pistol, I think. That, oh. oh my. We want to... We want to... Uh. Oh. oh shit. We're bleeding. We want to end this. Bandage and boop and a boop. Um, that gun is definitely strong. I mean, it takes two slashes with a knife to kill him, however, uh, the knife does 60 damage. So we'd imagine they have like 100 health or 110 health or 120. Well, the gun does unknown damage, but it was fast enough in killing them. And we gotta save the ammo for a gun or wait. Three oh, revolver rounds. Hmm. Baby crying noise is kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Um. <coughs> and we also need re oh god. Also need to reorganize. Nine millimeter. Oh yeah, I think I say that is for submachine gun. But yeah, that's mm, just sexy. Our weight is good, too. Uh, we just gotta break this knife and maybe toss it, maybe not. But... Was that really just it? It was just a secret for the submachine gun? I'm not gonna complain. If we face any kind of boss, which we really haven't faced any bosses, I'm not sure. I'm going to assume there's gonna be bosses, but we've not faced any. Or just if I had, I already forgot them because they were not memorable. Um, but I really don't think I have. But with a submachine gun like that, as strong as it is, we're, we're, we're Gucci. Nope, nope, okay, boop, boop. It, it broke at a bad time. Oh my. Come on. Mm -hmm. Good timing. Alright, so the knife broke. That's fine, but what's not fine? Hang on. It's a lot of enemies. That's fine enough. They're protecting something very valuable. We need... That's wooden handle, wooden handle. Where's the long handle? Long handle. Pole. And sledgehammer. Let us repair it. Wait, what else did we need? Wood glue. Beautiful. Alright, it's returned to us. Okay. And the knife broke. So we can move the gun to slot three. Nah, yeah, we're Gucci. 
I mean, we could have a knife repair at some point, but otherwise... Um... I guess we could eat some food and... Eh, nah, I don't care if we took some damage. We have enough stuff. I, I don't care. We have a really nice gun. We repaired our sledgehammer. They can throw whatever enemy they want at us. But I'm guessing that's, of course... I just, I thought this was, like, the way we were going. But this was all for a weapon. Like, seriously. No complaints, but... The only, I mean, honestly, the only complaint I do have is... I don't know where I'm going now. Because I genuinely thought that's where I was going to, you know... Proceed... Through the game. But now I'm left wondering, okay, well... Where am I going, then? Monsters everywhere. I'm, I'm just gonna have to re-traverse everywhere, I guess, and try to find a place that I was at. Oh, wait, I can't... Weird. Ah, I, I, I guess I'll just be left roaming, so uh, I'll skip ahead, because I'm having to re-traverse and wonder where the fuck I'm going, basically. But I got a sexy gun. So that's all that matters. The guns don't break. They don't, right? Like, they don't have any durability. Cannot be broken. With 160 bullets, uh, I, I don't. You guys should probably know how I'm feeling right now. It's just like, I'm, I'm kind of unstoppable in my mind. Wait, this door's open now? Wait, what? Or, wasn't this closed? I swear this was closed before. Oh. Okay, I found out where I had to fucking go. But this definitely looks like a boss area, so... Gotta make sure all the shots hit. Wait, what? Hmm. What? Psychic attack? Now, this guy has a lot of health. Yeah. God damn. Dead. Mama, hello, hello. And some food. Alright, well, we killed our first actual boss. I'm gonna have to collect everything that's around here. Eerie long hallway now. First, I'll take everything, so just give me a moment to roam around the room. Oh, damn, more ammo all around here. Nom. What's this? More ammo. Any of the boxes, though? Hmm. So how much? I got a hundred bullets still for the bloody gun. We're, we're still Gucci on ammo. And I didn't have to waste... Any, uh... I guess you know what, though? I want to save and then see what happens if I would die to the boss. So we're going to save on the second one. I want to see... Like, one... Let's, we're going to have to talk about the the elephant in the room. Thumbnail potential, thank you very much. All at the same time, curiosity. We might as well see what happens. Also, 
think it's the human centipede. And what about your psychic attack? I wanna I wanna see what happens if the psychic eh, the psychic attack. Wait. What's this? What's that room? And what is this attack? Oh. That's boring. Slammer. Eh. Maybe it's just a regular psychic attack that I evaded then. And uh, okay. That one room. It's either a s Wait, what? Where'd it go? Oh, one up there. Throwable. Okay. No, that hurt me, but I'm gonna imagine this is probably a secret. A little damage. Or just the screen went red and I thought it was damage. But this is gonna be definitely a secret. Like, if you don't have an explosive, just imagine it this, this way. If you do not have an explosive, which... Really, we don't have any other explosives besides that. To craft an explosive... I, it's kind of rare, I do believe, but we'll see what's over this way. An elevator. Okay, well, we're saving this one. Maybe like the ending, if this is an ending, or... Fuck, this is going into theory crafting mode, shit. I want to go both ways, but this one, again, as I said, explosive to get in here. And if you miss it, is this hallway is just, you know, blatantly obvious saying, hey, come this way. But this way is, if you can't, if you don't have an explosive. So... And we don't need the boss to break it open, so it's... <sighs> Wait, let me... Let me save in the right areas. Hang on, hang on. I, I want to make sure I don't accidentally save over the wrong save. This way is where the game wants us to clearly go. So we'll save it here. But otherwise... We'll continue with Nico 2. When I save the next time, I'm about to just be very slow about it. But yeah, I'm going down the path that I claim is secret and is rare. We're gonna do that first. Cause if it's an elevator, there's no there's no coming back. Hmm. Chapter four. But what would have happened if I went the other way? This is chapter four, that's the continuation, rather than a... Okay, wait, what? Okay, load. No mistakes. What is down this fucking hallway, then? What the fuck is down this hallway? Death? Probably death, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like long hallways. This feels more like... I'm hallucinating... ...down a hallway of memories. Then the hallway might be some kind of jump scare or death. Oh, important story related. Tyler, how could you write such toxic things? I have no idea where your head is at right now, and frankly, I don't want to know. I don't want to have anything to do with you. Stay away from us. Get help. Yeah, that's definitely story related. Boy, but it leads to the same... I'm getting a feeling this will lead to the same chapter. But that can't be right. Why would they have it so an explosive would lead the way to the same elevator? I'm going to imagine it... I'm going to imagine it changes the story. If I go down this tunnel... If I go down this tunnel, then that note is reality. The past changes according to the story of what I do. Sort of like the suffering. Except without the moral compass sort of shit, you know? So... I'm going to get the feeling that... That... that 
entire hallway to the elevator is not real. But the elevator guides us to the direction. That note tells us something was fucked up with our character. Presumably it ties to us. I don't even remember what the character's name is, honestly. But I'm going to theorize, going this way, there's, there's nothing wrong with this hallway. But if I go down that way, it leads to the bad ending. Thus, the good ending, or a true ending, can only be had if you go through this crack. That's at least game mechanic-wise, and, you know, hiding a secret like this that leads to two pathways to the same Chapter 4. I, I, I am confident that my theory is basically accurate. I don't want to be spoiled for those that have already played the game. You'll obviously know. Don't break my theory or be like, Nico, you're right. I'm going to presume I'm right until proven wrong. Um, but we're going down this way. Because it's the hidden path... And of the two choices, one is you have a chance of not even getting into. So I'm going to go, obviously, to the one where it used my fucking dynamite. I'm going to play the game once and hope I get the best ending, or the truest ending. Um, we read the note anyways before saving and going down this way. So we know that there's something about the character, uh, probably drug-related or just mental illness-related sort of shit. Uh, regs and okay but yeah we'll leave it here interesting we got a boss fight and uh yeah we'll, we'll keep that neat code too because then it's like if the ending to the game is not far from now then i could just do both endings but i get a feeling we're either halfway done or three quarters done but anyways we'll leave it here I hope you enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, big muff off Scarber, and the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time.